Hi guys, Nicole here and welcome to another video. So today's video is another what I eat in a day video and as you can see I am yet again starting my day with oats. So oats is definitely a breakfast staple for me. I just find it's really filling and it keeps me energized throughout the morning until lunchtime. So I'm just cooking this on a stove with some water and then towards the end I've just added some frozen berries and I've turned the heat off at this point and I'm just mixing it through just to help defrost the berries. And then once I've put this into a bowl, I'm going to add some chia pudding, which is just chia seeds soaked in almond milk with a little bit of vanilla. And I find this just adds a little bit extra protein, some healthy omega-3 fats, and it just adds a little bit more nutrient density to the meal. And then I'm just going to sweeten it up with some date syrup, which is a really good option if you're looking for a healthy sweetener. And then this is the finished product and it might not be the prettiest meal, but it definitely tastes good and I really enjoyed it. So my next meal was a post-workout smoothie bowl and I'm just having frozen bananas and berries, some plant-based protein and some almond milk. So I've just added this to a blender and I'm just going to blend it until it's a nice smooth consistency. So next I'm going to pour the mixture into a bowl and then I can start to add some toppings. So for toppings, I've just added some toasted muesli and that also has some nuts and seeds in it. And then I'm also going to add a heap spoon of hemp seeds. And then finally, I'm just adding some peanut butter sauce, which I've made with some PB2 powder and just a bit of water. And here is the finished product, a really refreshing and nutritious post-workout meal. So now on to lunchtime and I'm having a whole baked sweet potato. So what I usually do is I bake a whole big batch of these at the start of the week and that way when it comes to lunch I don't have to wait around. It's already ready to go and I just need to reheat it. Next I'm adding some black beans. Next I'm just adding some leafy greens. And then I'm just adding some fresh tomato. And then I'm just adding some avocado as a form of healthy plant-based fat. And a spoonful of hummus because hummus is life. And finally, I'm just adding some coriander to season and this just gives it a really nice flavor. And then of course, I'm topping it with some sriracha mayo, which is my obsession right now. And here is the finished product. And yeah, I've really been enjoying this meal lately. It's definitely become one of my lunch staples just because it's really nutritious, filling, and really easy to prepare. Okay, so now on to the final meal for the day. And for dinner, I've decided to make a potato and chickpea curry. So I'm just dicing these white potatoes into small pieces and that way they're just a little bit easier to cook and soften up. And then I'm just adding all the diced up potato into a large pan. Next I'm going to add this vegan friendly korma paste and this is where a lot of the flavour is going to be coming from. And of course you can also make your own curry paste but for my lifestyle I find this to be way more convenient as I really don't have time to be making my own curry paste. And then I'm just adding some soy milk and this is going to help give the curry its creaminess and sometimes I like to use coconut milk as well but I'm just using what I had on hand at this time. And then I'm just stirring this mixture all together and I've just put it on a medium heat. And then I'm just going to put a lid on and this is just going to help the potatoes soften up. 
So while that's cooking, I'm just going to prepare my chickpeas. So I've just used canned chickpeas and just want to make sure that you drain all the fluid out and just give them a good rinse. And once the potatoes are cooked, we're going to throw in those chickpeas and mix it all together. So next I'm just going to add a whole heap of frozen mixed vegetables and you can also use fresh vegetables for this but I'm just using frozen because it's way more convenient for me and it's also a little bit cheaper. And finally I've served it up with some rice and some leafy greens. So thanks for watching guys, make sure you like, share and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time. Yeah.